Hi, and welcome back to Hippo School Online. In this section, we're going to take a look at the version 4 timeline component. First, add the timeline component to your system. You can then open up the network sidebar, double click the timeline component, either program it as a pop up or, if you prefer, save it to a custom pinboard. When saving it to a custom pinboard, always bear in mind that although it will rename the blank pinboard, it won't add the thumbnail until you return from that screen. When programming a timeline, I would always recommend having as much space available as possible. So in this example, I'm going to use uh, a fairly large desktop space for my timeline. I'm then going to add a few other useful tools, including the preset manager, which can be found inside the layer control inside the source. and also the visualizer window. This will give you something to look at whilst we're controlling our timeline. Just to give you a little tour around the timeline component, you'll notice some subtle changes. I'm going to start off just by creating a new timeline. We've still got the tick boxes in here, so it's nice and easy to go in and add tracks from specific layers or specific mixes, um, and the hierarchy still can be found within it, like so. It's gonna add a single layer timeline just to give you a quick little tour. Again, timelines listed here on the left-hand side. The timeline itself will be found here on the right-hand side. A Couple of things that have changed is the to clean up the interface, uh, all of the settings for the timeline are now found at the end of each timeline itself. So I can go in here, for example, this is where I can rename my timeline if I wish. Set its ID for DMX control, and then also choose whether I'm controlling the timeline from timecode. And if so, select where that timecode source is coming from. We have a new scroll zoom function, which is really nice. Once you've uh, created a longer timeline, then you can use this to either zoom in on certain sections or move up and down the timeline like so. And the shortcut key, which is holding down the shift key and using the wheel can also be used to access the zoom function. Just makes it nice and intuitive and fairly quick to be able to go in uh, and access certain parameters and have a closer look at your programming. Snap value is found in the bottom left hand corner and of course there is global undo and redo again in the very bottom left of the timeline component window. Finally, if you do want to add further tracks to your timeline, top left of the timeline window, add tracks, whereas I can go in and for example, add layer two. Layer two should now be shown again within the hierarchy, but in part of your timeline like so. If you're looking for specific values that you want to program, we also have the ability to filter now in Hippotizer version four. So if I just want to access all of my levels, I can use the track filter to type in level. And there you can see it just shows me the two levels applicable to layers one and two on mix zero. In the same way, if I wanted to access red or brightness, I just type in what I'm looking for in this section and all of those tracks relevant to my track filter will be shown to me.